Today I have a lot of surprises and cameos for you. So this video's runtime may look a little longer for some people, but bear with me, it is going to be so worth it. So this is a McLaren P1 GTR. It's a track version car based on the McLaren P1. So of course you have a completely redefined front end. You have wings on the side. Headlights are the same, but everything else about this car has been changed. You have now racing wheels with a single nut and uh, a lot of details of carbon fiber are also added that like you have air vents just on the side of the wheels you have a different uh, side skirt and uh, of course you have a fixed rear wing here for downforce and for handling now this wing is also very slim and uh, what i like about it is these arms how it's connected to the body so it's almost an l-shaped carbon fiber arm it goes in, into the body i love it now you have a, a new exhaust system which has twin pipes there you have racing lights on either side if you come to uh, lower, you, you can see the new diffuser, it's much bigger. And pretty much uh, the whole engine base now uh, visible. You have the taillights there going around the body, beautiful details. You can see some fans there with the radiator. I'm guessing that's, of course, keeping par different parts of the car cool. So yes, this is quite a feat of engineering. It is incredible. So the engine in this is a 3.8 liter twin turbo V8 engine that uh, makes, well, over 1000 horsepower so yes it's a hybrid system so uh, this is much more powerful than the regular uh, p1 now the window is of this car is closed so i'm not going to open it so i really wanted to show you the interior but uh, what am i going to do it's not like you can see a p1 gtr every day the thing is only around 58 or so of these cars exist in the world but today is a lucky day for me because there is another p1 gtr and this one is even nicer because it has black stripes and those look really nice with the red color so what is uh, how aerodynamic is this car so how does it work basically air goes in through here the opening in the uh, in the middle and it comes out through these vents here just like in the regular p1 and of course that helps in creating downforce and uh, helps in increasing the uh, grip for the wheels and of course that helps in handling then of course you have air intakes on the sides on the doors and here you have the window open so this is how i can show you the interior so you have a very different modified interior you have different knobs and buttons uh, on the steering wheel uh, steering wheel is also completely different but even on around the computer system the, the screen there you have uh, new knobs and buttons there which you don't find on the regular p1 interior also re redefined you have racing seats there uh, on the insides of the door has also been changed you have roll cage now so it is a much much more track friendly car now so, uh, how different is this compared to a McLaren P1? Well, I wish there was a McLaren P1 for me to show you. Anyway, uh, this is the rear end and it looks incredible. So, most of the uh, rear end is open and that's because it's designed to let in the hot air out from the car as much as possible. Now, coming here, you can see an orange Aston Martin and next to it, you have two McLaren P1s. Now one of them is more special than the other. The gray one that you see here is a carbon series. Now what does that mean? Uh, I'll show you what that means. Now this is the silver P1. This is the standard P1. Okay. So you have uh, one P1 here, another P1 here, and two P1 GTRs. But we're not done here. Okay. So this is the P1 carbon series, which means that its whole body, everything about this car is bare carbon fiber. That's not all. It is limited to just five units in the whole world. So you can see it has a very different rear wing. It's, it, you know, it can be lowered or raised. It can you know, act as an air brake. It's much more adaptable than the one on the P1 GTR. You can see the P1 Carbon C's logo there on the other side. And uh, yeah, I think the, the standard rear of the P1 is, I think, a little nicer than the P1 GTRs. Now, as for the interior, you can see, of course, this is the road going car, so it is much nicer. The seats are also nicer, the center con console, the steering wheel, everything is very, very different. And here you have another McLaren. This is the Senna. And yes, the legendary Senna, the uh, 800 horsepower hypercar. So it has much more aer advanced aerodynamics. You have flaps underneath there in the air intakes. You have uh, different headlights. You have a very, very uh, race friendly, uh, road legal uh, hypercar so i like it it's i don't love it but i like it now this showroom also has other cars like three four gts and the one on the left the gray one is a carbon c's the one with the blue stripes and the full blue one those are regular four gts now 
I actually came here not only for the McLaren but also for a very very special car and that is that Huayra Roadster BC do check out that video as well then you have a blue Donkovo D8 GTO that is uh, looking absolutely crazy so yes there's a lot of hypercars in this showroom you have a Porsche 918 Spider. I mean why wouldn't you and here you have a Bugatti Veyron Super Sport modified by Mansory so the whole cars uh, all of its panels have been removed and changed by Mansory the interior has also been renovated that's a separate video of it so which car is your favorite here so we're not done with McLarens yet so you have uh, the P1 the P1 carbon series you have two almost identical P1 GTRs now the last uh, orange slice here is the McLaren Elva that color is horrible but that's a very nice very sleek car 815 horsepower and then here you have a Koenigsegg Agera R, one of 18 in the world. And of course, this is just like the P1, fully exposed carbon fiber, including the wheels. It's a beast of a car. So that's a separate video. And all the other McLarens, all the other cars that you have seen, you can find the videos in my channel. Just read the title carefully to know which videos are in English. And let me know in comments and what you think about these cars, which is your favorite. If you have any request, let me know. And of course, if you want to see more videos of McLaren's, just head on down to the video description for names and links. These are not the first P1 GTRs that I've seen, so I have more of them in the description.